Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have a kingpin replacement. Before I clean this at all, I want you to see how little grease there is on here. There is not, there is not very much grease on there. Same thing with that pin. Looks pretty dry. Got a grease fitting right there. Maybe it was grease when it was brand new. The trailer is almost brand new. As you can see, it's in pretty good condition. So our job is to swap out this kingpin. You can see the difference. A little bit of a difference there. Amazing what just a little bit of grease can do. All right, so. Basically they have this, I guess like a safety plate kind of over the top. And then they have that deal that just drops in there. We'll just carefully gouge these welds off. We'll reuse that plate. And we'll just cut those welds off that. Slide it out, put the new one in. Anytime I do uh, fifth wheel plates or anything high stress like this, I like to try to clean all the dirt off and, and check all the cracks just to see if anything else is failing while I'm in there. So we'll probably clean this off a little bit more and then we'll start cutting on that. Okay, we got her all set up on the back of the truck. There is no weld on the bottom. All of the welding is done from up top here. Um, got it holding with my crane, and this really isn't that heavy, so even if that strap failed, it's not gonna, it's not really gonna hurt. We're going to use the Air Arc 5 16th carbon rods to cut that out. Miller Big Blue 600 Air Pack. We're gonna run 600 amps. And that machine puts out 60 CFM at 100 PSI. We won't even use, not even half of that, but that's what she's gonna give us. But something I wanted to point out before I cut this apart is the type of weld that is on here. And I do believe that is a paint crack, as you can see the paint. They did a very terrible job painting this. Um, that's just regular hard wire MIG. And I'm going to use a wire feeder to weld this, but I'm gonna use dual shield, which is a step above what that is. So no, it doesn't need to be stick welded with crazy high tensile strength rods and all that. It doesn't need that. You can see the weld didn't fail. It failed because they didn't grease it. Anyways, enough talking, let's cut the sucker out. See, we removed that plate. We could definitely reuse that. No problem there. All right, now we just have to cut that weld right there and she should lift straight up.
Okay, so we got that cut out, blew out all the slag. So now we're gonna use 3M Cubitron sanding disc and we're just gonna clean all this up. We'll clean up this uh, plate, backing plate or the top safety plate thing with it. Um, these discs are available in my Amazon storefront, link in the description, the disc and the backing pad. They are expensive. It is the best thing that you will ever use, trust me. The only thing you have to watch out for is if you get in a corner, it might catch. But anything flat, that's the best thing you'll ever use. In, uh, in the disc, or if you need more of a stone wheel, the Cubitron, the ultimate stone wheel, also amazing. All right, let's sand this down. Get her cleaned up. All right, we got our kingpin cleaned off here. We got a machine surface. Make sure there's no uh, dingleberries or burrs on that. We got that surface nice and clean. Kind of drop that in there. We'll get that tacked into place. We'll give that a little preheat, then we'll weld her out. Well, there you go. Um, slap this plate on here. Get that welded out, throw some paint on it. We'll be done. All right, got her all welded in, cleaned up. So for this wire feeder we used, is a Miller Arc Reach, Arc Reach Suitcase 12. And if you have an Arc Reach machine, it allows you to adjust voltage and wire speed right on the wire feeder versus just wire speed here. And then you have to climb up there and adjust the voltage up there. So that is a nice feature that Miller has. Um, the wire we used, the Lincoln 71A75 Dual Shield. 1 16th, we were running at about 25 volts and 300 inches per minute. The gas we used was 7525, 75% argon, 25% CO2, about 30 CFH. Now we're gonna give her a 
Give her a little paint. Hopefully it cooled off enough. I'm not going to paint this entire thing. I know they don't care that much and they probably wouldn't do it anyways. But we will paint what we did. There we go. Perfect, that'll work. All right, well, I'm going to set this on the ground so they can install it. You can see, got that, well, it's all lined up perfect. All right, well, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.